think back on that warm, sunny afternoon, it always feels like we didn't do anything important at all. Chevy told a lot of lame jokes and discussed academic stuff with Senpai. Senpai even sang an anime theme song, which was totally unlike him. When you think about it, we did nothing but waste time that afternoon. But you always want more afternoons like that, and you never want them to end. Then the very next day, the principal sent me on a horrible mission while the ever-expressionless senpai got to accompany Shavi to an amusement park. Under the pretense of freshman training, there's no justice in this world. I was running dangerous errands for the principal, the two of them were on a ferris wheel together. That's almost like a date. Now it's time for freshman training. But senpai, we are here, on a ferris wheel. Yes. I chose the ferris wheel on purpose, because our freshman training can't be done in a crowd. The pod holds two people, and we are 50 meters above ground. We will stay here for 10 minutes. Enough time for me to finish your training. And there I was thinking you had fallen for my looks. Do you know what it means to take a girl on a ferris wheel ride? Is the ferris wheel different from other rides? Do you actually know the top three spots for having a date? What is it? Movie theaters, aquariums, and ferris wheels. It's dark inside a movie theater, and that makes for a naturally intimate setting. Besides, if you're watching a horror flick, it's like a free pass to hold the girl's hand. A visit to the aquarium means that you're an educated animal lover. Girls really appreciate that. Besides, that blue underwater tunnel has a warm and mysterious quality that makes you feel like you're in a different world altogether. The Ferris wheel is the best place to ask a girl out. You're on your own together, and the girl has to hear you out. When the Ferris wheel reaches its highest point, whip out that rose, get on your knees, and profess your undying love for her. You have a full 10 minutes at your disposal. For some guys, Ten minutes is enough to talk a sea turtle into shedding tears! Why would anybody want to make a sea turtle cry? That's not the point! The point is, the ferris wheel is a romantic spot! And in a romantic spot, you don't talk about annoying things! Freshman training... Are you annoyed by this topic? Well, I guess that depends... Alright then... It's not as annoying as throwing a big hairy dead spider on a girl and then having a good laugh about it. This is my first time visiting an amusement park with somebody. I can't really tell. Actually, I've always wanted to. Once I came here by myself and in secret, but it turned out to be pretty boring. Really? My brother is developmentally challenged. My parents spend all their weekends at home with him. If I want to go to the amusement park, I have to go by myself. But who in their right mind does that? I thought your family spoiled you. Why is that? It's just a feeling. We are twins. My brother came out first. I took my time and came out six hours later. The medical staff were at their wit's end, and they forgot to check on my brother. He had breathing difficulties, and being unattended to for half an hour caused him developmental problems. So my parents always said that he sacrificed himself for me. He could have been really smart and successful. That's why I need to do better than everyone else. Because whatever I do, my brother is helping me. So no matter how hard I try, I'll never get any praise. You don't like your brother? No, I love him. Maybe it's because we were together for a whole nine months inside our mom's womb. 
He's very, he can get very agitated, but I can calm him down just by talking to him, even when our parents can't. I hate it when others pick on him. When we were little and I took him with me for errands, we would get so many weird looks from people. They would say things like, How irresponsible! They let a little girl go out with a dummy! My brother might not have understood their words, but being very sensitive, he would cling to my skirt and not let go. You're so devoted to your brother. Sometimes, I wish he'd never been born. That way he wouldn't have had to suffer so much. I'm sure he'd love it if he could come to the amusement park. Hmm. <clears throat> this we call Pathos of Blood. As a group of hybrids, we stick together because we share the same blood, and an inability to assimilate into society at large. Let me remind you we're still on the Ferris wheel. The weather is great and we can see far into the distance. Can't we talk about our hopes and dreams? I learned all about freshman training back in prep school. 